Hi everyone, it has been a very, very long time. I know it's been a hot minute here. Yeah? Thank you so much for keeping it real with me. Thank you so much for being patient with me. Thank you so much for being here. If you're watching this right now, my name is Chacha Wabara, in case this is your first time here. And um, <laughs> it's been a while, okay? I haven't made a video in a very long while. Not so long though. I, I the previous the previous videos I've been uploading were videos I made, you know, and kept them, you know, to keep uploading and updating on the channel. So I can't say I'm back, but I just promised to do better. It took me a whole lot of time and effort, sacrifice to be here today. And um, I want to make the very most of this time. <laughs> okay. So today we'll be reviewing the movie, Nigerian movie known as Glamour Girls. It's a 2022 Nigerian movie with notable actors and actresses. Really? I you know, set my time and I saw the movie the same hour it came out on Netflix about that. And I'm sorry, I'm just coming up right now with the review, but here we go. It has actors and actresses like, as in say, Ikpe Etim, it has Sharon Onja, it has Joycelyn Dumers, it has Toke Makenwa, it has Lynx. Um, I think I saw Mm, Temisa Emmanuel there, yeah. Uh, Gloria, what's what's her name? Yeah, Gloria Anozie. You know the former Glamour Girls uh, crew or team. You know Gloria Anozie. I think and you, uh, can't, I, I don't know the other person, but there were like two ladies who just gave um, a few seconds um, or a few minutes appearance just to you know provide a link between the old the past glamour between the past glamour girls and you know this present glamour girls and it was a good watch for me <laughs> well i just um sat down i didn't know what to expect because i've not just been happy with what i've been watching for a while on the nigerian scene now this now movie started with people um in a club, you know, strip, you know, where strip dancers are. And I must say, this is the first time I'm seeing a Nigerian project that role of a strip dancer to the T. The effects were wonderful. Sharon Onja did it. She nailed it. There was this movie I reviewed a while back. I think Small Chops. I had a problem with it because, you know, the men lead, the female male uh, men lead did not, uh, you know, project that role of a dancer properly. I expected so much from her and I got disappointed. A lot of people disagreed with me anyway. So back to this movie, Sharon Onja did what I expected, just like she did in um, this movie that she acted is based on true life. Now, she was a strip dancer and men would come watch her. You know, one thing led to the other, she was asked to leave. Okay, she was sacked and she had no job. She had dependents, her mother, her siblings, depending on her and she was desperate. So she sought a new job. Okay, hustling job with Insect Bear team who whose role there was an epitome of um Insect Bear team. I wouldn't say this is the best I've seen of her so far. No, I would not. But uh, I, I, I think the bad girl role, she she took it a bit too far. But let me just get back to the story. So, Sharon Alja went to you know, applied for the job at Sharon, uh, at Nsekwe team's firm. And um, Nsekwe team was expecting top-notch chicks, you know, graduates and all that, because the men she, cat she caters to are, you know, politicians, big men who, who have power and all of that. And Sharon Onja did not have that qualification. She had a qualification of being a hustler, like she told Nsekwe team, and she was ready to do anything just to put you know, 
food on the table for her family and um, to provide for their needs and this is a him after looking at her looking at the desperation and looking at she had a few you know what would i call it now raw materials you know she could brush up on she took her in and um, brushed her up they did now every other thing that took place there you will see the life of um toke makenwa who was uh, married to uzo arukwe uzo arukwe was in america and Toke Makenwa was or okay, yeah, was um, a fashion designer in Nigeria but was still catching her phone runs trying to make more money and send it to the husband as well so on one occasion Uza Rukwe now decides to pay her a surprise visit and um, okay he started noticing that there were so many things first of all Toke Makenwa would say she she's going in, she you knows she's going back to her shop to She's going back to her shop to, you know, to put, you know, to hurry up, you know, clothes that have been placed on order and all that, all those flimsy excuses uh, Toke Makenwa was giving them. And then she had two kids for Uzo Arukwe and, I'm sorry, yeah, she had two kids for Uzo Arukwe and um, until the bubble burst. Now, this movie is fast paced you just keep on going with it the, the, the there were some obscene scenes and um sound so you would need um, some parental control if you are watching with young um younger people younger adults no younger adults young children so um i think the movie did not leave an impression for me I don't think I would lose sleep over the movie but don't get me wrong I saw a lot of naysayers saying the movie was no good was no that now taking each actor and actress you know on the, from this movie I would say they really did they tried the person that I would I would think that she had more to offer was in team like I said earlier the bad girl vibe that she was trying to give was a little bit too much and and um, did not really do it for me. Um, whatever it was that they were trying to do did not work for me. Okay. Um, this aquarium team should have done better much much better i loved the role of sharon onja sharon onja was sharon onja from the beginning to the end sharon onja interpreted the role from being you know a small runs chick a small girl not really a small girl just you know a one local runs babe to being a sophisticated runs babe um not necessarily sophisticated but runs big but on ti you know per se on a higher level yeah she really did that she really uh did that well now on um the level of the storyline the plot the plot tried to stay on the story it was delivering yeah uh but um at the end of the day did they deliver the story i would think to some larger extent they tried and they would i would you know this the plot would end maybe kind of like um a 60 something percent for me but um on a general level it was all glees and glamour i think mirroring the name glamour girls it was all glees and glamour that tried to hold on desperately kind of to the older version of glamour girls they also try to have this originality about the storyline as well and um i just did not understand what story what message they were trying to you know pass across um yes we know there are different movies that always portray you know fast life fast living of all these girls so what exactly would set glamour girls apart from these other movies that we have been watching before glamour girls and come on guys this is 2022 this is nollywood and so we should be expecting something better something bigger and uh, what they just gave to us was just flashlight like you know all the things that you would expect in a in a movie that has been you know i don't know reasonably funded but um nothing wonderful now jocelyn dumas is someone that 
always holds her own even when the movie is nothing to write home about her role is secure and which was what she did like she just like you know what let me just get in there do my own thing and go there was nothing um i wouldn't say i was terribly uh, impressed you know, there's nothing impressive about what she played there but she was okay i think they all came to give us you know um they're dressing how they would look on a good day how they would look when they want to look sexy but um well i expected so much more i expected so much more how did they resolve this they said it was 15 million right so when the chief when this when they checked they now saw 22 billion dollars yeah yeah 22 billion dollars and then when she's trying when Team was now transferring the money she was now saying your 15 billion dollars so how did they resolve that how because everything was done over the phone so how what 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 so that part that was towards the end of the of the movie less than 10 minutes um uh, before the movie ended it didn't make sense so this, everything was just scattered there are some places the, the, some the, some parts of the plot of the storyline that didn't just hold true and uh, for this time where we are right now with nollywood i don't think we should be ex we should be seeing that right now we, it, it's it's not nice it's not nice every there should be lock and key to every explanation every story every circumstance every cause everything that we see there should be um, a plausible explanation to what we're seeing so i didn't just um it was a, a movie um i looked forward to seeing and then after i was done seeing the movie i was like just i, was, I just made the comment of just of it just being yet another nollywood movie that will be forgotten in the next um two weeks um so i'll be rating this movie a five over ten the, cinem the cinematography was all right sound check you know picture quality check um glaze and glamour check if <laughs> that is what we're looking for in cinematography oh they would get a nine over ten with all that they did Ejika sebu was being Ejika sebu as usual and um <sighs> links i don't know i don't know where to place links links showed potential but um, at the end of the day i just don't know all the carrying and the the hiding of Lynx's body you know in the chair that was gifted to Ejika Sebu's wife and all of that how come where so you want to tell me that throughout they did not know the body did not did not start to you know give a foul smell you know there was a lot of loopholes and i was watching and i was wondering and say but him is in this movie and all these things are just there and she's in there and she's accepting it that way oh no 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 it did not just um didn't work out well with me i didn't just think that it was right so um at the end of the day that's it what it is which brings me <laughs> to the end of this movie review thank you so much up there you see my korean movie reviews my nigerian movie reviews my chinese movie reviews and then again my movie reviews thank you so much thank you so so very very much for doing this for me and i'll see you next time please don't forget to hit on the subscribe button don't forget to turn off your post notifications so that you'll be alerted when new videos come your way thank you so much for doing this with me me. Bye. Love you. Bye.